my dear Fair Movement Church family, may this message find each one of you under the care of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every year, I am in awe of God's tender care for His people, and this year has been no different. In 2022, our Reform Movement family grew. We established new churches and reached new places. We gathered in person once again to make up for lost time. Soldiers in the Lord's arm graduated, and others were ordained to serve. All over the world, the Reform Movement has been working tirelessly to reach our global community and spread the gospel. Amid this turmoil and civil unrest, God's work carries on. One more year is now about to surrender its pages to eternity. And as we end 2022, I thank you for your faithful service and assistance to advance God's cause in this world. Your prayers, your dedication in church offices, your faithful giving and your presence in church meetings have made a difference in many lives. And by God's grace, you will have the opportunity to see the results in eternity. Results that you might not see or even imagine now will make your joy greater in heaven when you see souls there because in some way you help them to find Jesus Christ. Together, we can say Ebenezer, for thus far the Lord has helped us. This is always a time for a special reflection when we stop to consider the blessings of the year ending and the opportunities of the year that is before us. It's time to give thanks to God for the blessings received each moment of our lives. Our health, our freedom, the hope we have in Christ. For me, I'm especially grateful for my family this year, my wife, my children, the opportunity of having both my parents and all three of my siblings alive, and for my relatives as well. But also, I'm thankful for the beautiful family we have in the Reform Movement. I feel privileged to have you as my brothers and my sisters. The first time I stepped into a Reform Movement church at 14, I saw our people as such wise brethren who studied the gospel for themselves and had true conviction in principles. It was the moment I first fell in love with our faith. Every day, I chose to see this in my brethren. Families aren't always easy. They disappoint us. Sometimes they hurt us. Do you remember when you first fell in love? The love you felt for your children when they were just born? Or the way you regarded your parents as heroes in childhood? Many of these experiences were our first taste of love. What came in the way of our first love this year? Between us and our spouses, between us and our brethren, or between us and God? Maybe pride? The desire to be right, has it been worth the pain? I grew up in a house divided, literally. My parents could not get along and uh, they could not afford two houses. So they built a wall in the middle of our house growing up. I witnessed the, heart, the hurt and the destruction that can happen when we leave our first love. But I was also blessed to witness the healing power of God the way He transforms us into new creatures. My parents found salvation, and in the process, they found each other again. I just had the privilege of visiting them this month and seeing the love they cherished for each other in their old age. A new year is now about to unfurl its pages before us, and many families will begin the year apart. But I want to tell you, husbands, wives, God can work a miracle in your marriage, starting in your heart, if you allow him to do so. To the children who, like me, witnessed the separation of their parents, let me tell you, God sees you. He hurts with you. Let him comfort you, transform you, that you may be the light in your home during this difficult period. And to those of you with loved ones missing this year, God sees you too. He hurts with you too, and He offers you comfort, hope, and peace, unlike any other this world can offer. There is always hope to the lonely, the isolated members of our family around the world. You are not forgotten. You are part of a peculiar nation, and even far apart, we stand together. I'm grateful for all God has worked 
through us in 2022. And I look forward to discovering his plans for us in 2023. Before you leave this message, please take a moment to consecrate the next year of your life in God's hand. There will be moments this year when you will be tempted to leave your first love. And I want to share you a passage from one of my favorite hymns, hymn number 513 in the Reformation hymnal, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. It says, Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to live the God I love. Here is my heart. Oh, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. May this be your daily prayer in 2023. Amen.